Rashi's Global Family Chat. News of rising invincibility around the world. This is the news everyone needs to understand how the trends of time are changing towards peace and prosperity. Mahashi's Vedic Technologies, Transcendental Meditation and its advanced program Yogic Flying are being implemented globally. Just the square root of 1% of the population practicing yogic flying together in a group is enough to raise the levels of harmony and coherence in the collective consciousness for the whole population. Enjoy the news of enlightenment dawning for every individual, invincibility for every nation, and peace for our dear world. Welcome to Mahashi's Global Family Chat on the 4th of July, 2022. Today is a great day, a world first, that today we have a connection with the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is a huge country in the very heart of Africa. And it is a, has a population of 90 million people, and today we have Raja Felix, who is the International Administrator for Democratic Republic of Congo. And it's nice to know that the President of Congo, his name is also Felix. So Congo has two Felixes, and Felix, as we know, means happiness. So double happiness for Congo. Welcome, Raja Felix. Please go ahead and bring us the wonderful news from Democratic Public of Congo. What a joyful introduction, dear Dr. Peter. And indeed, I'm very, very happy that we are connected to the first TM Center in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And this in the very east of the country. You already mentioned a little bit about the Congo. And I would like to show you a few slides. And like you said, it's almost in the heart of Africa. And like you said, it is by area the largest country in sub-Saharan Africa, the second largest in all of Africa after Algeria, and the 11th largest in the world, with a population of around by now 105 million. The Congo is the most populous officially francophone country in the world, as well as the fourth most populous country in Africa. The Congo rainforest is the second largest rainforest in the world after the Amazon. And the Congo River is the longest river in Africa, second longest river in Africa, shortly, shorter only than the Nile as well as the second largest river in the world by discharge volume following only the Amazon. And it's extremely rich by nature. Wonderful, wonderful, huge waterways. The Congo is extremely rich in natural resources. It's the world's, world's largest producer of cobalt ore and a major producer of copper, diamonds, tantalum, tin, and gold. The DRC is the second largest diamond producing nation in the world and the largest export, the largest export of raw materials is to China, accepting around 50% of its exports. Here you see some of these gigantic mines, often operated by some South African mining companies. And this is what you see very, very frequently, so-called artisanal mining, where people dig holes to find those precious minerals. The Congo has suffered from political instability, a lack of infrastructure, corruption, and centuries of both 
commercial and colonial extraction and exploitation. The level of human development was ranked 175th out of 189 countries by the Human Development Index. Around 600,000 Congolese have fled to neighboring countries from conflicts in the center and the east of the DRC. Two million children risk starvation and the fighting has displaced four and a half million people. And this is unfortunately a sight too often to be seen in the Congo when the population has to flee again either armed conflicts or sometimes natural disasters. 16 months ago, our Uganda governor Bamande Tsongo was invited by a bishop of a Pentecostal church in the east of the Congo to visit him and his school. Bamande was very warmly welcomed by the bishop, his deputy and pastor. Bamande reports, the bishop was really prepared for us. He says he had a revelation that visitors will visit him. You can imagine he even bought nice chairs for the visitors. They brought chairs the very day after my arrival. He says members of the church contributed to buy these chairs due to the revelation. And they asked me to sit on them before others sat. I'm so touched. Bishop just told them that I'm sent by God. It's my first time to teach such prepared, humble people. So inspired by this prophecy of the bishop of, a, of the Pentecostal church in the east of the Congo, we started teaching two governors, Mamande and Nancy. In the last 16, by now 17 months, they have taught, when I wrote this, it was 7,000, by now it's close to 8,000 people, mainly in churches, schools, in military, groups of disadvantaged people, including widows, orphans, pygmies, and internally displaced persons. And this was the very first time Bamande reached the Congo and met the bishop with his deputies. Then he spoke for the very first time to teach us at the school of the bishop. And then teaching TM starting at the top, the bishop learned himself first in a beautiful private session. Then Bishop introduced Bamande to his congregation and there the whole activity started. I would like to now ask dear Bishop to very briefly say what motivated you to embrace Maharishi's knowledge in the Congo. Bishop, what motivated me to learn TM? It was a revelation from God. And the person who brought this prophecy came from Kinshasa, the capital city, coming to this northern kingdom. So when he came, we, we received him at church. So this prophet told us uh, during church, during prayers, that uh, a white man will come here bring stress uh, management. So this prophet told me to prepare chairs for the, the white man coming with transcendental meditation. This chair, those chairs we uh, contributed in church uh, to uh, we raised the two hundred dollars. When we we brought them to my house, uh, so I got a phone, a phone call coming from Kampala. 
And it was Bamande calling me. Saying that who, the one who gave him the phone, the, the phone number was a friend in Kambala. I didn't know Tongo Bamande. We have never met. So on the phone call, I told the Bamande that uh, if God has sent you, it's real, real prophecy. So I told the Bamande that uh, we had already got the prophecy that uh, God is sending us a Muzungu. So Bamande managed to connect me to Raja Felix. Bamande was in Kambala and Raja Felix was in Switzerland. So I thanked God because now I knew that this is a fulfilled prophecy. So I said, please you are welcome here. So I said, even if I'm not the, the boss, I'm not the leader leading the people here, I will not fear anyone, I will just accept. So I managed to inform the, the founder of the church so I said, since we are, uh, God has uh, uh, given us this chance, we must utilize it. So the founder said, yes, you received the meditation. So we, re- we started meditation in this area. So I, I learned with my deputy and Benizet and Obed, those are two pastors who followed. We called it the director of the school, also learned, learned meditation. So we started teaching schools and churches. So we saw that uh, our two chairs multiplied to more chairs in church. We were sitting down. So we got we received more chairs now from Raja Felix. So we thanked God for Raja Felix. So meditation has helped us, all of us, and including myself. So there are many things that have been uh, not going well before, and now things are going on well. Yeah, uh, in this revelation, I had had another revelation that there is a land which we shall occupy around here. So there is another revelation he was, he was saying that everyone in the Kasindia shall have a land. So as I speak now, we managed to buy a land for TM. And, and many other people now have, have occupied the remaining part which was there, including part of the park, the national park. So the local authorities have even wish that Bishop opened the school. Now, Gaza, in the meditation, 
kumiti matendea wanatukokea kama watu wanatuma na mungu kusudi kukokea mungu kukashon na wakati na wasaidia wengi wanadia mwono yao ya zamani mwono wakotea na anjo ile faida ya kubwa sana inye ime kikumushi mwenda kumulamusha ile bongo inye ilikuwe na wekwa kumbe mwono tuki niku kwa connection ya mwono asa biyote vena la mwono kila kitu kito naenda kwa kuna fasi yake wakati kinafika msema haa ya kitashimi isa fungula iki asa tunakifana kwa kwa mwono zetu asa mwono zetu za mwono zinaata kwa kidogo lakini zinahitazika asa zikate mwono za musaada lakini meditation imetufikisha kwa makusudio ya Mungu so the wonderful experience that we have seen that uh, the prophecy is working is that whenever wherever we go we are being welcomed very well without any hesitation so mother nature is working because everything we do is going smoothly and the people will come us without any challenge and everyone is benefiting a lot wherever we go we see that now people like especially in churches now become more purified more strong spiritually and in all activities they are doing we see that it is renewing the church and it is making us really understand that this is the real prophecy that we are following Thank you very much, dear Bishop. And I know that there was one more part to the prophecy. And the prophecy was that you, dear Bishop, will be the man who will bring peace to the Congo. Yes. <laughs> yes. Actually, that's, that's true. Because wherever we go, they call us many names. They have been calling us peace ambassadors. They call us doctors. They call us pastors. There are many wonderful names they give us. Now, for Monday, I will show some slides, and you please comment on it. Okay. So one second, I'm trying to do this once more. So these were the first three people who learned at the school on very shaky benches. Abamandichi, you just continue to explain a little bit what you see. Oh, the chairs. Yes, those are chairs. We go to and distribute it every group. At least now they are meditating comfortably in, in soft chairs, very nice chairs. It makes them transcend very fast. So this is a school, one of the first school we initiated, known as Ngangatiro Primary School. They also have nice experiences, that one. And these are, these, that's when I was in Bunya. We have gone to various cities in the Northern Kivu and we are trying to teach asanas. And that's still in Bunya, the same church. So they were watching when I was demonstrating that, that, that photo. This is when we were in Kasinde, and that's in the church doing asanas and transcending. That is also another church nearby because the bishop has been connecting us to many churches. And that is another church. They also had wonderful experiences. That photo is also showing in Bunya. Those are the widows in the Kasindi where we are now. Still, that one is also casting the widows. Yeah. This is a group of widows who have learned TM. And Nancy was very instrumental in teaching the ladies. Here we gave our dear Minister of Religion and Culture, Dr. Chris Crow, sent a certificate to our dear Bishop appreciating him for his work and you see how proudly he showed it to everyone and here we see i just continue a little bit to give you impressions of different churches where they for example meditate on sunday before their prayer services and here we received
from the Ministry of Education on the regional level the endorsement for introducing TM and actually asking them to come and help them introduce TM into their school system. And the school director is reading it out to all the other teachers. Amande, would you like to comment here? Yes, these, uh, these are gifts. They give us appreciations from uh, the church leaders and uh, they are giving us more than that because they are feeling the, the, the program is helping them in different ways. That one is uh, when you were in Goma, those are, also, those are widows in Goma. They are also meditating regularly. Now I will and continue to, to show quite rapidly that more than 50 groups have been established in the Congo who meditate quite regularly together. So I just, without much comment, just for your viewers, Dr. Swan, to get some impression. This is in our TM Center from where they are recording today. This is, this is our TM Center. In East Congo. In the very east of the Congo, yeah. In the okay. most tense part of the country. Oh. It's just school after school, then also in the military, some groups have learned, other schools. And here by Monday, you explain, you are with the Pygmies. Yes, the Pygmies after Goma. So we initiated over, over 300 Pygmies and they are meditating regularly because we get their reports every day, showing us how they are doing. Those are that one is also a member of the Gimis giving him our experience and we had wonderful experiences. And then many of the schools are such that they actually are just benches in the open air. So they also meditate in the open air. And like I said, I will just show some impressions. And here a very cramped school room where they hardly find space to sit together to meditate. This is in front of Bishop's church. With nice chairs. With nice chairs, yes. <laughs> and this is a big celebration at our TM Center where they all meditated outside together. And here, Nancy, you would like to say two, three things about the way you have been instructing the children in the world of wisdom. <laughs> Here there is, a, is the working technique at the Pando Undo School here in Kasinga. And here, Nancy, you had a big, big, big celebration, the Autumn Festival. Yeah, it is the first day of the open of the organization AGCD. AGCD, yeah. Now she's addressing all who have come for yeah, the celebration. Yeah. Yeah, I was invited. And here we see Bamande trying to travel <laughs> to, a, to a new city. The car is full with six, seven people and huge amounts of luggage and then long breaks because some tires are broken. Now here again, one of those groups. Another group, this is uh, more south in the southern part of the east where there's lots of rocks. Here, a very simple school in a remote area where Bishop and Pamande went. And sometimes they travel by boat across those large lakes in the east of the DRC. You see a Pamande oh. coming off as a good teacher under his arm, the display of the benefits of TM. And now they are in a small town trying to find a place to sleep overnight. They call it here a, a lodge. And here they are building a new church. There's no roof yet. And everyone is listening to Bamande, learning about the benefits of TM. The first group meditation, Bishop all the time with Bamande. And here we see more others in the same church. Now everyone has learned. And here again, Bamande 
you went to a pick me group and this is before they learn tm and it's sometimes not so easy to reach them and communicate with them they are very impoverished people very much suffering now here nancy where have you gone you have gone to lake edward no Yes. And, and you have initiated there all the fishermen in that village hmm. on Lake Edward. And this is another school. And here, Nancy, tell us oh. about all the children that have learned TM from you, the walking technique. Yes. It was the students of the Pando Undo School. It was the day of the teaching them the walking technique. You see 300 of them following <laughs> Nancy, practicing the technique. <laughs> Here, another group of widows. And this is some of the very sad parts. These are the internally displaced people. And when they came to Kasindi, there was no place really for them. You see the floor full of rubble and stones, like they sit on it and meditate together. And I was wondering, how can they actually sleep on such a ground and meditate on such a ground? So we took the initiative to show them how to make mats with local material. And here you see they finished the first one and happily together know <laughs> that they can rest more comfortably. And Pamande uses it to show the yoga That's asana. Awesome. And here you see one of our great mobilizers. He went out to buy the raw materials for more mats. And here at the school of the bishop, we started to build some septic tanks so that slowly the toilets would come up so that a thousand children have a toilet. Here you see our the city administrator, Solomon from Mwangi from Kenya has come. Then we wanted to show here briefly the different kind of support we have provided to many or to many groups buying churches, chairs for them. For uh, dear Nancy, we bought a motorbike so she can easily move from one place to the other. Here, Nancy is teaching how to make soap so that the ladies can get more self-sufficient. So not just meditation, but also some practical use of their creativity. This is on our land, the first harvest of rice, cultivated by Bishop and his family. Here we see Solomon Mwangi from Kenya surveying the land so that we can build afterwards a Vastu school on it. Here Bishop very proudly introduces the guest, Solomon Mwangi, to all of our groups. I think he has seen 30, 40 groups there and has meditated with them to see how ready they are to learn the TM City program. Always together, they are meditating with them. Here he gives a lecture and you can see how he enjoys and everyone <laughs> enjoys his presence. He's a wonderful, wonderful soul. Here he is with the widows giving a lecture and also assessing how ready they would be to learn the cities. <laughs> And here he does a, a group checking with them. And proudly showing the, the, in the group photo. And here he slowly prepares to go. And the school children were so happy to be with him. They didn't want him to go. And here just to show that over time, sometimes we get some appreciation for the teaching here, Pamande gets a chicken. And here one of the sad stories, this is the internally displaced people. The rainy season started and everything got flooded. They couldn't live anymore in those houses. The mats which we 
which they which they made for themselves also got damaged in all these floods of rains. They couldn't sleep, they couldn't meditate anymore in there. So we invited them to come to the TM center where it's dry, where they could relax and meditate again, get something to drink and eat. And here are the heroes, our governors. This is Bamande with his wife and his four children. And here Nancy with so many following her. <laughs> so sweet. All have learned the, the children technique. So the bishop is doing well and ready to only preach TM. He speaks like someone who stayed with Maharishi. He tells pastors that Maharishi was the highest prophet who revealed God's heart and how we can meet God. He always tells the people that we no longer need pastors praying for people, but it's time for each one to learn how to meet God within, it, within each one's self. This is what Bamande wrote me at some point. Beautiful feedback on the preciousness of this bishop. I would like to share Nancy. Yes. Now you hear you're on a conference redu on reducing yes. societal stress. Please go ahead. Yes, it was in the conference with the conference of the consciousness based technology to reduce stress and tension and uh, prevent violence violence and crime. It was here in Kasindi. Here it was the group meditation with the orphans there to offer of Yes. Here it was uh, at Ngangati Primary School still the uh, meditation with the students from fifth, four, five, and six. Yeah, here group meditation at Kibanda Primary School in Kasingu. Here it was after group meditation with the widows at their place of meeting. Here was the group meditation at the Siloam school with the students of P4. And here is, uh, yeah, here the working technique at the Don de Die school. Here was the group meditation at the big chat club, uh, the big chat room at the Ngangatiro Primary School. Here the group meditation there at the Islam Islamic School at Kasim with the boys. And also here the Islamic School with the girls from P4, 5, and 6. Also here is the Islamic school. Okay. Here is the school. Yeah, the group meditation at the East. Okay. Yeah, also here it is to Kalemia. Kalemia's uh, village. It was the group meditation. Even here, the same. It is the village they are up to Kasindi. Here this is Kibanda Primary and Secondary School. Also here, we get the picture after group meditation with the teachers from Kibanda School.
here, it was before to give the, to teach the walking technique at Pando Undo School. So as you could see, Dr. Swan, these two governors, always together with the bishop, have done a miracle. I think by now it must be 60 or even more than 60 groups that have learned. And their endeavor is to consolidate it so that the schools and all those groups are doing their program regularly so that next year we could start to teach the TM City program, at least to some of those groups. They are in very big demand by Monday and Nancy. From everywhere they are calling them, please come. But Monday was just now initiating last few days, 400 refugees who have fled from the Congo to Uganda. So he went across the border and had a wonderful group there. And they didn't want him to go. They again and again told me, don't let him go. <laughs> we need him because so many reported spontaneous healings also. And what is very often you hear is that they say that now we can sleep better. Because many have been suffering from PTSD and they were tormented by their traumas. And that has TM has brought them great relief. And like Bishop said, wherever they go, they are extremely warmly welcome and requested to bring the blessings of the transcendence. And the blessings of the bishop. <laughs> yes. I want, to, I want to congratulate bishop, particularly congratulate you all, but particularly bishop for seeing so clearly what the gift is that Mahashi has given us, that everyone can now have the experience in their own heart of opening to the divine, opening to God, to natural law. So that it's not just a matter of prayer now, it's a matter of direct experience and transformation from inside. Congratulations to you, Bishop, for seeing this so clearly and giving all your support to it. And he's an extremely happy person, extremely humble person. He is there for everything, not just when we teach, he's there. He's there when things are being constructed, he's there to buy when we buy things. He's constantly with them and supporting it with all his with everything. So very great thank you to all. Thank you, Dr. Swan. So now, uh, Congo is, is joining other, other countries, other peoples of Africa. You should know about it. In South Africa, there are some big groups of people practicing transcendental meditation. They have a university and quite a number of schools which are practicing transcendental meditation. In Zimbabwe, they have a school. In, uh, of course, um, Malawi and uh, Tanzania and Kenya and Uganda, they have schools there, many schools, big groups. They have the schools in Burkina Faso and in uh, uh, Senegal. So, Africa is becoming one big family of points of light coming up to raise the collective consciousness of the whole of Africa as one big family. And uh, dear Bishop, Peter Swan is from South Africa and he has had with his dear wife Susie many large projects also in the educational field. So he knows exactly what it means to 
direct large groups of meditators, and he shares very much that vision and desire for Africa to go to, to get fully enlightened. Yeah. So he's one one of yours from Africa. <laughs> 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 Bamande, will you will you translate all of this for Bishop afterwards? Yes, yes, and I'm trying to tell him uh, some points, but I will be able to inform him. Good, good. Yes. So, warmest congratulations to you all, and thank you, Raja Felix and uh, Nancy. It's great to see you shining wherever you are going, and Bamande shining, and his family shining with the inner light of consciousness, and Bishop shining. It's wonderful to see. It's really heartwarming, and I hope that as the project increases, then Raja Felix will help you more uh, to to channel some money from wherever it is to help you to build your buildings and your TM centers and schools and uh, get more chairs for comfortable meditation and uh, so that the project becomes established in the hearts and on the land of Congo. Thank you, Raja Felix. Congratulations to you. Thank you. That's the so all our deepest appreciation goes to Mahashi, who, as you said, Bishop, is a great prophet who has shown us how to experience in our hearts the love of God, the peace which passeth all understanding. We end now by ringing the bell of invincibility for every individual to be invincible in themselves. Descending, descending on the earth, who does grace is free.